Hello, grade 7 boys and girls from Rainbow International School. Welcome once again to this virtual learning presentation. And now we are going to discuss the last chapter in our storybook, David Copperfield, authored by Charles Dickens. Chapter 10 is about death and discovery. Now, we have the settings in London, Canterbury, Yarmouth, and a village in Switzerland. You will see this uh, uh, picture here <coughs> taken when uh, David uh, went to Yarmouth because Emily wanted him to um, s give Ham her letter before she um, departs for Australia with Daniel Peggotty. Okay, so let's see what happened uh, before we go to the summary proper. We have here finally uh, one character, okay, and in the person of Sophie. Sophie was in the previous chapters, but since she's presented in chapter 10 as Tommy Traddle's wife in the end and mother of their two sons, let's have her here as a featured character because in the previous characters, I mean chapters, she was just mentioned. Okay, so let's try to see an activity before reading chapter 10. This activity is found in your storybook on page 95. Now, uh, you are assigned to read chapter 10, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, before you read chapter 10, you are supposed to answer the following questions, and here are the answers, possible answers, okay, that you may have because it's a guess. Your answer may be yes or no. Okay, but um, based on the story that happened in chapter 10, here's the actual answer. Dora will die of her illness. Yes? She did die of her illness. Ham will, will uh, see Steerforth and uh, kill him. No, he didn't kill him. He even tried to save him when he was about to drown uh, because of that uh, huge storm. That night, um, David went to Yarmouth to give the letter to Ham. And the third, David and his aunt will be poor all their lives. No, because um, Aunt Betsy's um, money uh, was recovered and David really worked hard to earn a living and he's a hard-working person and he is earning good um, uh, with his writing profession. The last one is David will discover something about himself that he did not know before. Yes, and it is the gist in this chapter. Okay, now let us go back, recall the story in chapter um, 10 by reading out this summary. All right, so let's start with David and Traddles receive strange letters from Mr. Micawber, Micawbers, inviting them to go to Canterbury at a particular date and time together with Aunt Betsy and Mr. Dick. Dora was very sick so she was left. Agnes, who was in Canterbury at the time, was invited at the meeting room where Uriah was surprised because even his mother was brought in by Traddles. Traddles announced that he would be replacing Uriah as assistant to Mr. Wickfield which Uriah didn't accept. Mr. Micawber revealed all the wicked things Uriah did, even to Aunt Betsy, who kept from Agnes the fact that she lost her money from investing in her father's business run by Uriah. The revelation made Aunt Betsy very angry that she hit Uriah with her umbrella. Mr. Micawber and Traddles corrected the mistakes done by Uriah and found out that it is but right to return Aunt Betsy's money back to her. Uriah and his mom left Canterbury. Mr. Wickfield decided to sell his business and retire. Aunt Betsy offered to lend Mr. Micawber and his family money to start life anew in Australia. 
When David went back home, Dora requested for Agnes. During their conversation, Agnes and Dora, Dora passed away. Emily requested David to send her later her letter to Ham. But when he went to Yarmouth, there was a terrible storm and everyone at sea perished, including James Steerforth, who was the last sailor aboard that wrecked ship. Okay, and Ham, who tried James as well. David decided to leave England uh, because of the death of his wife, the death of his friends, Ham and James, and the departure of his uh, friends like Daniel and Emily and going to Australia who apparently boarded the same ship uh, boarded by Mr. McCobber and his family so but after um, three years he realized his love for Agnes when he came back he saw Traddles who later became a judge married to Sophie with two sons and on Betsy and Mr. Dick back in their house at Dover with Peggotty. David and Agnes were back in each other's arms, but no longer as brother sister, but as man and wife. They raised a family. They have child they had children of their own. And Daniel and Emily were doing good in Australia and so were the Micobers. Okay, so uh Everything's well that ends well that ends our storybook now in our next slide you will be having Because it will be assigned here. Okay, that you will be answering you should be answering um, After reading Activities at the back of your storybook and that's what we will discuss next uh, audiovisual presentation Okay, so uh, the next slide will lead us to the activity while reading chapter 10 also found on page 95 so we have to answer these questions what were the three accusations made against Uriah Heep by Mr. Micawber and uh, they're all mentioned in the book and let's read it out firstly that he lied to his partner so often that mr wickfield thought that he himself had been dishonest secondly that he had copied mr wickfield's signature onto false documents and checks lastly that he had stolen large amounts of money from mr wickfield and the firm okay what did mr micawber's discovery mean for David's aunt. It meant that she was able to get her money back. Where did the Micawbers move to and why? Australia. They moved to Australia because it was a new country then with a lot of business opportunities where something could easily turn up, as he used to say. Who was on the record ship in Yarmouth? It was James Steerforth. How did Ham die? He died while bravely trying to rescue the last surviving sailor who apparently was steered forth on the wrecked ship. Who was the young man Agnes had loved for a long time? It was David. David Copperfield. Okay, let's see. Here are the two comprehensions as well to guide you with your uh, skills check whether uh, you have understood the story well, especially for chapter uh, 10. What did David do after the death of his wife, his friends, and the departure of his other friends? What happened when David arrived back in England? Okay, so let's see. Uh, you may think of your answers right now, but you have to write them down in your copy book. Send a screenshot to me, okay? Where to? You know where. WhatsApp and or Discord direct message. And here's what I was telling you about. Your task is to answer the after reading activities from page 96 to page 99. We have three activities there. Um, as far as I can remember, rather four activities. 
and copy book please the answers uh, some require long answers and uh, some uh, require like just uh, short answers we shall discuss them in our next audiovisual presentation okay so that's for now and once again thank you for staying with me uh, during this presentation be safe be healthy and happy virtual learning bye for now